Pikachu. Yeah, joining us today, uh, along with uh, Margaret Armour, joining us today with I Go Tokyo. What a Hello, neat store. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're with us today. Thank you. So you guys just moved. We did. Um, we moved just from one place on the North Shore to another, but it's been fantastic. We've had a lot more visitors be able to come and see, a lot more business, so that means I get to go more shopping. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. So to hop on an airplane, to go from sure. more than likely Chattanooga to Atlanta, Atlanta to maybe Los Angeles, Los Angeles no, to Tokyo. That's going to cost you about uh, seventy, about seventeen hundred, two thousand dollars. <laughs> Technically, yes. Yeah, round trip. <laughs> yeah. So Japan is coming to us. Yeah, it is. It is. Yes, and actually, I do the direct from Atlanta to Haneda, so it's about fourteen hours, thirteen hours on, a, on one flight. Yes, that's a long flight. So more than likely. Uh, I go Tokyo is what 20 minutes 30 minutes yes. depends on where you're, 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 you're watching from of course yes yes so put us in the store what kind of experience will we will we get well so a big part of my store is just showing that Japan is so much more than Pokemon who again I vowed I would never sell but he is one of my best sellers and um, and so like what you have here is a Kokeshi which is a traditional Japanese doll oh, wow. um, a lot of uh, like when you're a young girl you'll get one of those and there's other times throughout life but I actually, uh, part of the store is my friend Etsko and I travel. So we went to Gunma Prefecture where those are made. I saw them made. They're really? hand painted. Is it's unbelievable. That's yeah. amazing. So what, now what does this do? I don't want to. It's just a, it's just a figure. Okay. Yeah, it's just a yeah, figure. She's just so a You go traditional. to uh, Japan twice a year, twice right? Twice a year. Yes. My friend Etsko and I go and part of it is again, shopping and going and uh, finding things for the store. Um, and again, I am a little bit different in that that's how I find my items is through going and seeing the regions of Japan. So I love this. Yeah. So, so talk to us, uh, take us back four or five years ago when you, yeah. when you first opened. Why did you open a store like this? Um, well, I've always loved to travel, yeah. and I really wanted to open a store that allowed me to also continue to travel. My uh, mentor and aunt said, I know you pick one country. So I picked Japan and went and spent about five weeks trying to figure out what I wanted to do and came back and met an incredible woman named Etsuko, who's been in uh, Chattanooga about 20 years now. And um, we became fast friends, and she has helped me uh, not only shop, interpret, she's my brand manager, but she um, has very high expectations for me as maintaining the Japanese culture. Yeah. So um, we aren't able to do as many classes as we did in the old space, but we do tea ceremonies. And like this fall, we'll be doing a Akimatsuri, which is a fall festival. So more for that. Yeah. And um, But yeah, we... I just want to show that there's more to Japan than, again, what I, what I as a Westerner went to, which was... Uh, again, Pokemon and Geisha. And <laughs> it's so, more, yeah, more than Pokemon, yes, for sure. Yes. So now, do I have a Japanese toilet? A hundred percent, because they're magical. Just what, what, everything wait, wait, wait. What, about their culture. What, what's a Japanese toilet? Well, so when you come in, the toilet lid will raise. It twinkles you a little song. It's a bidet. And they have them everywhere. Train stations, you push a button, and it plays like a little magical tune if you need to make your own magical tune. That is so, amazing. Yeah, I did yeah. not know that. No. Their technology there is just incredible. Now, do we have a magic toilet? at, at uh, I Go Tokyo? Well, it's a staff-only toilet, <laughs> oh, but staff yes, we do. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then this is a Daruma, which is a yeah. traditional, and we actually just did this at our new store opening. So uh, Daruma, again, I went and saw these made. They're all made by hand. I oh, tried I to tell. paint. Um, if you look, his eyebrows are technically a crane, and underneath is a turtle. Look. So, But um, you color in one eye, make a wish, the left eye, and he will keep your uh, his eye on your wish. When your wish comes true, you color in the other eye. And in typical Japan fashion, you can either decide this is a lucky Daruma and I want to use them again, or you can give them back to the temple or bring them to my shop. And then they're um, like lit in a pyre once a year. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Well, what's this made out of? Uh, paper mache. Is that paper mache? Mm -hmm. It's so light when I picked that up. I, I was like, oh my yeah. goodness. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you so much, yeah. Margaret, for, for stopping by. And, and the, the culture and the inside and the store fun. is yes. just, yeah, it's and so good Good things unique. for Father's Day coming up as well. Uh, yes, yes, don't forget about a Father's Day. Gift. I was about to say, you will definitely find a unique Father's Day yes, gift 100%. Uh, today at yeah. 34 Fraser Avenue. I go Tokyo and uh, contact them today. I go Tokyo Store.com yes. for more information. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.